In today's video, I will be trying out Figma slides for the first time and sharing my thoughts. And also I will compare it to other presentation tools like Miro. You noticed when there is no default slide available, you have to click a big slide button with a plus icon to add your first slide. You can also add slides by clicking on the plus icon button to add a blank slide or by using the new slide button with carrot down to choose from templates. This part feels a bit confusing because the current down icon suggests a drop-down menu, but it actually opens a side panel. Still, there are many templates to choose from, which is nice. Let's pick a few slides and see how the new features help us design faster. I will add some text to test the new AI integration. Right away, I'm missing having auto layouts as a default setting. It would make scaling presentations easier without adjusting each slide individually. I'm struggling a bit with resizing the text because I can't find the text size options. I guess I could use the predefined text styles, but I want to create a custom text element for this. So I will try using the scale tool instead. Let's clean up the slide by removing unnecessary titles. One thing I notice is that when you group text elements, you can adjust the gap between them by resizing the group vertically. This feels a bit unpredictable since I expected the group to resize or stretch instead. Now let's test the AI feature. You can use the dial to adjust tone of your presentation content. However, without auto layouts, the presentation can get messy quickly. The AI helps with content but still leaves you with a lot of manual work. Let's try the presentation mode. You can choose from basic transitions between slides like the push transition, which is pretty cool. Most people might still use the regular design mode to create more detailed transitions. Many of my colleagues use Figma to create slides or portfolio presentations with animations and transitions. I think Figma slides has potential, especially with better auto layout integration. How does Figma slides compare to Miro? Both lets you choose from a set of templates, which is good. But Miro's interface is more crowded and complex. So there's definitely a steeper learning curve. One thing that annoys me in Miro is that the text boxes have padding, making it hard to align text elements visually. Miro Assist AI is accessible from the bottom right toolbar or the context menu. But replacing templates with a new content is not easy, leading to more manual work. However, Miro's brand feature is better compared to Figma's. You can quickly apply new color palettes across your slides and the results are more predictable because Miro has accessibility features built in, which Figma is currently missing. In general, I noticed that many companies blindly implement AI features focusing more on the AI itself rather than the main product's use case. In my opinion, AI should be there to help, not to replace the key features. We shouldn't make the user think too much about the AI itself, it should seamlessly enhance the experience and help us under the hood. That's my quick take on. In summary, this is my first impression. It might change with more experience and new updates. Figma is known for quickly improving its UI and UX, so I hope for a better representation experience soon. And what do you think about the Figma slides? Will you use it or stick to the design mode?